Do you have characters? Do you have the artifacts? But you're still doing zero damage. Then keep watching this video and maybe I can help you out with that. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about Optimizer. And what Optimizer allows you to do is it allows you to pick from your existing artifacts to give you the best build for each of your characters. It's gonna look really blank when you first get here, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to use this site and how to, you know, optimize your characters. Before we get started, a uh, short disclaimer, this is for the people who, you know, kind of older players who have a lot of artifacts to work with. So like me, for example, I have a lot of artifacts and there are some combos that I might not think about. Like for example, this piece has more attack, this piece has more crit damage, which one's better? At that point, it's, it's up to testing and testing might take longer than just using the optimizer and figuring out which one's the best like right off the bat. So anyways, there are a few ways to get your artifacts onto the site. You can manually screenshot every single one of your artifacts. This is how we used to do it before they added the scanners on the scanners page. They do provide three, technically two ways to import your artifacts because Aminoma has been dead for a while. But I do recommend using inventory camera. You can use adaptive scanner if you want to. I've used all of these. And this is my favorite one because it does allow you to scan all of your weapons, artifacts, and characters so you don't have to manually input them into the site. These are both updated for 3.3 so choose whatever one you want. In this video, I will show you how to use inventory camera. Also, as of recording this video, it's currently 3.3 so you might find this video 500 years from now and the info may or may not be accurate. What you gotta do is download inventory camera, you're gonna go to their site, click here, you'll get a zip file, unzip it anywhere you want and launch the program. So once you do have inventory camera open, you can see here, uh, you can put any parameters you want. I just leave it at weapon rarity 4 stars, artifact rarity 4 stars, and the minimum le levels to be at like 1 or 0. You have to put your traveler's name and wanderer's name if you do have him and have renamed him. This is really important because the camera might screw up the scanning if you don't put in the names. So just put these just in case. We're gonna go and click weapons, artifacts, and characters. We don't care about character development items or materials. We just care about the characters we have, the weapons they have equipped, and the artifacts in your inventory. After all this, you can go to Genshin and set your resolution 1600 by 900. This is what they recommend. So I just follow it and stay on this screen right here. So like press escape, stay on this screen, go over to camera, click scan Genshin. Be careful not to touch your PC, not to touch your mouse while this is going on. It's going to go and scan through everything. Start the scan, go downstairs, do something else, touch some grass, and then come back like 10, 10 minutes later and it'll be finished. So we're gonna go let it scan and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, real quick before we get back into the video. This video is sponsored by me. No, I'm joking. It's sponsored by Ducky because I did do a giveaway on this video where I asked you guys to comment for you know, comment the timestamps for a chance to win a welkin. And today we're finally gonna do it. I'm gonna go and enter the URL, random name picker. Whoa, hello? Oh, it's the, okay, that's so weird. Anyway, nine. There you go. Get comments. 19 people. I'm gonna go start and just see who won it. Hopefully, they have. There we go, Sunshine. Congratulations. You are the winner of the Welkin. I, I'm pretty sure it's correct for these guys. Two, you know, just make sure. Okay, I just went back to the video. It's correct. Thank you for joining. Uh, I'm gonna go message them on YouTube and hopefully they respond. If they don't respond, I'll redraw it again on stream and then we'll, we'll do it again, okay? Anyway, thank you for joining the video. Happy New Year's. Also, maybe you know, follow Twitch as well if you wanted to. Oh, thank you again, Ducky, for the Welkin. He's the one that's responsible for giving away this work in so yes follow him on twitch as well okay so it's just about done scanning the characters and it will give you a message that you know it's finished after this you can go ahead and close it if you want go back to genshin optimizer and go to the settings tab this is where you want to upload your data the file that it's scanned and usually this is found in the same folder where your camera is located in Genshin data so to make sure this is the right one we're gonna click update database and now everything everything you have is on the site make sure it does get everything in you know sometimes it does usually it works 
perfectly, like everything's gonna be here, but just in case, you might want to check and maybe there's something wrong with some of the characters. You know, if you guys were just sitting there and watching it scan, you notice that it did scan like all the constellations, so I got my Abedo right, level 90. This is what he has, he has zero constellations. So if I check like uh, Zhang Ling, for example, shows um, the catch all the artifacts she has, and that she is C6. I know that everything's right, now I want to go optimize my Raiden. You guys saw the intro clip, she kind of like didn't do any damage. We can go check right in and and this is why this is why she wasn't doing damage because apparently she's using a, a dull blade <laughs> okay it says dull blade because it didn't it wasn't able to scan like all the one star weapons and i think she has a one star weapon so if we edit this swap it out for the engulfing lightning which i do have for her obviously and gonna click this because this makes sure that the damage or the damage calculation takes into account the engulfing lightning passive after she bursts. I'm gonna go to team buffs. So what team was I using? I was using Sarah, Kazuha, and Bennett. My Bennett has Sapwood Blade and he has no bless. In order to make sure that the game takes into account your team buffs, uh, you want to go click on whatever buffs to apply to what you're trying to optimize. So for example, Kazuha, want to make sure that he does an Electro Swirl on the Raiden team. I, I also want to make sure that my Noblesse on Bennett and his Burst is used. Same goes for Sarah. So her E and her Q, and she is C6, so this takes into account the C6 Electro Crit Damage Bonus. Gonna go ahead over to Optimize uh, and click Use Equip Artifacts. So what this does is, if you have this clicked, it takes all of your artifacts and then gives you your best artifacts that are on all of your characters and then just uses that. So for example, if I have a really, really good Electro Goblet on Sarah and I click this, Optimize for Raiden, and my best Electro Goblets on Sarah, it will show up here in a bit. You can also have artifact set configurations. So when you're, when you're optimizing right in, it's almost always you're going to be using the four, four piece emblem. So disable everything and just enable four piece emblem. You want to look for the best build with four piece emblem on right in. You can set these parameters or not. I prefer to do it because it does speed up the process. So if you do know how to build a character, like you know what stats they want, how much energy they want, then this, this will be useful for you. It will save you some time. Attack or ER, you want attack or electro on the goblet, crit rate or crit damage on the circlet, maybe attack. Again, if, if you're not sure on what stats they want, you could just leave them blank or just click on all of them and it'll, it'll do the same thing. It'll just take a little bit long. And we're trying to optimize for burst damage. So that initial slash, the juicy initial slash of right in biggest hit in the game. Gonna go generate builds. There you go. It gives you your best build. This is what I was talking about. It gives you the artifacts that are equipped already on the characters when you click this. So this is a good build, but what if I wanted to go for like not average damage. I want to go for like the biggest crit damage I can do with right in. You can do that and do this. But then it'll give you a build that has like no crit rate. So this is just like the biggest damage you can get if, if she does crit. What you can do to mitigate this is to set constraints on the build. So for example, I want to get the highest crit damage possible on my right in while maintaining, let's say, a 60% crit rate. I think 60 is pretty good. So we go generate. The site is going to take into account that you want 60% crit rate and you want to see the highest burst damage you can do with that 60% crit rate. Click generate. And there you go. Turns out all of my artifacts were on Amber. And that's why she wasn't doing any damage at the start. Compare versus equipped. See, this is how much more I'm doing now. So this is how much damage I would be doing if I do crit with this setup, these artifacts. So if I go ahead in my game and give Raiden all of the artifacts that are that are on Amber. She's gonna have this, you know, 60, 164, 232 ER. My bad, I forgot to switch out the engulfing lightning and give it back to her. There you go, grass cutter. There, 60 to 164, 287 ER. Make sure it's the right artifacts and click equip build. So now this is how much out you're doing. So, so yeah, this site just gives you the best builds to use on your characters. If let's say you didn't want to use uh, this build necessarily and you wanted to like check the others, it gives you other options. It ranks it by highest damage to lowest damage depending on what you're optimizing on right in. So we're doing the initial slash. You can go for the skill damage if that's what you wanted for some reason. You know, it's allowed. You're allowed to do it. That's basically how this site works. You can go deeper into like, you know, I want at least 270 ER. I want to have for some reason uh, 10, 10 EM. At least 10 EM, because this one has zero, I want 10. So put the constraints here, you generate builds, and it will give you the best build 
with that. So this build with 16 EM, this is at least 10. It gave us a build with 16 because it's impossible to have just 10 EM from a substat. No, it'll give you this build. You can compare versus equipped. So I'm doing about 3000 less damage from the build I currently have equipped. But I do have, you know, more EM on this one. Still have 60 rate and I still have at least 270 ER. Let's move on from Raiden. Let's do another character. Let's, let's optimize one more character just so we can you know, get in the flow. So instead of Raiden, let's go for Zhang Ling. Zhang Ling is another character I use a lot. So you're gonna go to Zhang Ling over here. And again, I use her in International. You might use her in Raiden, National, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that the teammates you do use her with are here. So I'm gonna go put in Child, Tartaglia, Kazuha, and Bennett. Make sure again that all of the buffs that you want on Zhang Ling are applied. So Pyro Swirl at least on Kazuha. You can just click all of these. I, I do that most of the time. Noblesse buff from Bennett and his burst. Go to optimize. Use equipped artifacts again. Uh, and I want her to, to use 4-piece emblem as well. Because I'm pretty sure I have a good 4-piece emblem on her, right? Attack ER or EM on the sands. Make sure that she has a Pyro Goblet and crit rate or crit damage. Maybe EM even on the circlet. We are going to make sure that she has at least at least 180 because i think 180 er on zhang ling is very comfy especially with bennett you need like about three e's on bennett to fully recharge your zhang ling with 180 er and i want her to have at least 50 crit rate because with the catch we're gonna have 62 optimize for your pyronado damage and make sure that it is vaporizing so you click this to vaporize because if you don't click this no reaction, it's just gonna go mono pyro. But like, you're playing her with child, so obviously you want her to vaporize. Go on and click generate builds. There. Why the highlight? Okay, anyway, so now it gives me a four piece emblem build with everything that I wanted, but it's using my Raiden pieces. I don't want her to use my Raiden pieces, because like, what if I'm using Raiden on one half and I'm using Zhangling on the other? Very simple. This is a semi new feature, they added it a couple months ago. You can go to the. click the cog near the use equipped artifacts and now you can set priorities to the characters so i want raiden to be my highest priority she's c3 you know she's very strong i want her to have my best artifacts and then after her i can put jiang Ling. so now when you click equipped characters it'll use artifacts or give you the artifacts on characters that are below Zhang Ling. So anyone who's not listed here is considered below them. Raiden is above her, so they will not use her artifacts. So if you go and generate again, now it gives us the build I currently have on without giving us Raiden's pieces. And if you check in-game, all of this is accurate because you have all the buffs. Let's just do it again on Raiden. Let's show it off real quick. It says with the current build that I will be doing 313 on crit. So I'm going to go test it really, really quick right now on the Geo Bishop to show you guys. Ah, wait. Okay, this, this, you see, look, that's the problem with the Geo Bishop. You don't know sometimes. Trying to do a showcase. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Everyone who, everyone who's done a showcase, which is literally everyone who plays this game knows what I'm talking about. So we're gonna go Magu Kenki instead. Apply the buffs. Swirl Electro. Bennett. Sarah E into Q and then Raiden Burst. Hopefully you crit. 532. 532? Wait, huh? Okay, I forgot something. <laughs> the reason why it did 532 and not 313 is because I forgot very important step. Okay, so for the people who stayed up to the end of the video, you're lucky because I forgot. Other than the team buffs, make sure that your talent buffs are also active. So make sure that your E is active and your resolve stacks are maxed, which they were. So now if we go to optimize... There we go, 534. There you see, look. Hey, everyone makes mistakes, it's fine. So make sure when you optimize a character that other than just the team buffs, their talent buffs are also activated. Because obviously, when I had this deactivated, it was assuming that Raiden's skill wasn't up and the resolve stacks were zero. So yeah, you know, it's the, it, it it's accurate now. It's accurate now. With the stacks up and resolve, it's accurate. Okay, that was my bad, but I hope this was useful for some of you. This has been a video people have been asking me to do for so, so long. I'm so sorry it took this long, but you know, it's finally out. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Also, enjoy your ride-ins for the new ride-in in Ayato Havers, you know?